It's meant to be a peaceful enforcement activity. However, turned violent as some traders at the Apo Mechanic Village attacked the security personnel and enforcement officers of Standard Organization of Nigeria on arrival. The aggrieved traders came out in mass to destroy the vehicles of the enforcement team and attack the government officials. However, no record of casualty. The team eventually decided to retreat to avoid more damage. The Regional Coordinator Standard Organization of Nigeria, Albert Wilberforth, says some standard goods are inimical to the health of citizens with hundreds of people reported dead from consumption of fake goods and SON, we therefore not tolerate the practice of cloning brands by unscrupulous businessmen to make quick gains. You can just imagine what best will happen. The time may explode on the road, you can imagine the number of lives will be lost. So that's why we went out to ensure that we confiscate these products and prosecute the culprits. But you can also see that as we all went out with combined security of about 70 drawn from the DSS, police and civil defense. We wanted to do this raid simultaneously at three locations in the FCT. But lo and behold, we came under heavy and very serious attack, including guns, that eventually our personnel were wounded, the security agents were wounded. The enforcement drive comprises three teams covering Apo, Kobo and the Rewan aimed at eradicating substandard products in Nigeria. Obiagili Ugoke, NTA News.